Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'll show you how you can add Steam library artwork to non-Steam games quickly and easily without any third-party tools. So first off, I'm showing a manual process that is most useful if you have just a few games that you wanna add artwork for in your library. You can do this in any operating system that's supported by Steam, such as Steam Deck or Windows PC. Now there are also third-party tools that can do this for you. If you're more interested in those, check out the video description. Each game in your library has five pieces of art. First, in the game details view, there's two images. The first is the background or hero image, and the second is the logo image. In your main library view, you'll see the game's capsule image, which is portrait orientation artwork similar to a DVD or Blu-ray case. There is also the library header landscape artwork, which is used when the game is in the front of a library list, such as the most recent game that has been played. The last image is the game's icon, which is displayed in the main list when Steam is in desktop mode. This one may or may not be important to you, so we'll talk about this one last. So the first step is getting the artwork for your non-Steam game. If your game is available on Steam, but you just didn't purchase it from the Steam store, you can still get the same artwork used by Steam. If your game isn't available on Steam, you can still apply artwork to it using the method I'll be showing, but you'll need to either create or find alternative artwork to use. Check the video description for the image dimensions that you'll need. To get the artwork, we'll need to use a web browser, so if you're on Steam Deck or similar operating system, get yourself into desktop mode first. Head on over to the steamdb.info website and then search for your game. From the game's main info page, click Metadata from the left navigation list. Now scroll down until you reach the Assets section. Here's where you can find the artwork used for the game on Steam and you can download them. Each game's metadata may be listed a little differently, but the four main images you'll need should be listed here. Right click and download the Hero, Capsule, Logo, and header images. You only need these stored until we apply the artwork within Steam, so the file names you use and the locations you save them to aren't all that important. With the artwork now downloaded, we'll need to open Steam in its desktop mode. In order to apply each piece of artwork, we'll need Steam's user interface to be showing the placeholder artwork. In my case, I have two games that I want to apply artwork for, and they're shown right here on the recent game shelf. If they are not in your case, you may want to browse to a collection that contains your games, or just launch them momentarily to force it to appear here. So I'll start by adding the capsule artwork for Siberia. I'll right-click the placeholder artwork, and then select the capsule artwork that I downloaded. Next, I'll invoke the library item to get into the game details view. Here, I can right click the background area of the game and choose to apply the game's logo image as well as the hero image. So I've applied three of the four main library artwork images to Siberia. In order to get the library header image placeholder to appear, I'll need to launch the game to force it to show as the first item in the recent games list. Before I do that though, I'll apply the header, logo, and hero images to the Whisperer. Now for the Whisperer, I only have to apply its library capsule image and I'll be done. I'll navigate into a game collection that contains the game and just apply it there. Now for Siberia, I'm just missing the library header image. I'll just start and quit out of the game to force the placeholder to be shown. So now Siberia is at the front of the recent games list and I can apply its header artwork. Great, I've added all four library images to both of my games. When I did this, Steam copied the images into its own cache so I can delete the image files that I downloaded. Earlier in the video, I mentioned a fifth image, which is the game's icon. A game's icon is shown in the library list when Steam is in desktop mode. In this case, since I'm running Windows, Steam was able to grab the game icon images from the executables, so I don't need to manually set them. However, here on my Chimera OS mini PC, you can see that the game icons are missing for four games that I have added. 
If you'd like to apply an icon for a game, you can do that from the game's details page. Click the gear icon on the right, then choose properties. From here, you can left click the icon placeholder, which will open a browse menu where you can choose the icon. There are a few extra details to think about though. The set of image file formats the Steam will accept for the icon is more limited. You can download the game's icon image from the SteamDB website, but the image may be in JPEG format, so you'll need to use some software to convert it to a PNG file before you can use it. The second gotcha with game icons is that unlike the main library artwork, Steam will expect the image that you've applied to remain on your file system. So if you delete the icon file from the file system location you set it from, Steam will no longer be able to find it and the icon will not be displayed. Personally, I don't feel the icon images are worth doing anything about, especially since I mostly use Steam in big picture mode, but I wanted to be sure to cover it in case you feel differently. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it helped you out. Take care.